from somebody who lives in Laurel, I'm just so like when we came came and I saw the damage, I was just like blown away. But then at the same time, just couldn't believe the response of people and. We're about day 10 into it, I think, or whatever, and it's just like the way our community is reacting and just getting stuck in and the, the, the work ethic, the, the um, I suppose, the, 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 uh, the way people are doing, it's bloody incredible. They're yeah, really good. That's not meant to happen. <laughs> Jeez. Can we do that again? No, I'm just so proud to be part of Warrell and be part of QRS and just be, to see what people are doing. Oh, that was fantastic. A whole lot of small contractors just going for it. We went from this end and there was guys coming down all up there just working on getting through that major, um, it's a little bit more ready. The crew from up and down as it got through to the boundary which was good, and then um, these guys just carried on. And really impressive to see all those those guys just getting together and, and, and making it happen. A few of our staff had their houses just totally smashed by the flood, just making sure they looked after. We, at long term, we're really going to have to look at ways to make sure that they're all right and, and got the support around them. Two main focuses right now is around roads and, and starting to get, get into making them stronger, better now that the roads are open. And the second part of the work is around supporting our communities that have been affected by the floods around silt, remove all their flood damaged property. We're coordinating all the um, subcontractors within the world. They're just doing some fantastic stuff. It's really cool to see everyone just pulling together. This ain't the first time or the last time it's going to happen, but right now, it, like it is, it's just making sure the community's got what it needs, can then start to build back and then go from there.